Welcome to Medicine Handy Point. Today our topic of discussion is hypertension uh, and we will discuss how to take uh, history in case of hypertension. So let's start. Now if the patient is uh, hypertensive, uh, we will start with um, how it was diagnosed, what were symptoms at the time of diagnosis that the patient was diagnosed as a case of hypertension. Then we will ask that for how long is having this hypertension my, uh, means the duration of the illness. The next step we will do, we will ask about the symptom of uncontrolled hypertension. So there are two important symptoms. One is headache and the other is vision problem like blurry vision we can ask. Then once we have done the brief uh, history about hypertension, then we will look for the etiology of hypertension. So we will ask about family history of hypertension. If family history is positive, it is likely essential hypertension. If family history is negative and the patient is less than 40 years of age, then we will look for the secondary causes of hypertension. So these are divided into three causes. First is the renal causes, uh, which include renal vascular diseases like uh, <clears throat> renal artery stenosis. We will inquire about the chronic parenchymal diseases of the um, kidneys sorry so uh, once we have asked about the renal issues then we will ask about the endocrine diseases which includes acromegaly uh, thyroid disease Cushing syndrome Corn syndrome and fucromocytoma. So these are the endocrine diseases which leads to the the uh, hypertension. So we must have few questions related to these endocrine disorders, and we will ask that from the patient. Once we have done that, then we will ask cardiorespiratory disease like coarctation of aorta and obstructive sleep apnea. Now, now. Uh, now ask about the complication of hypertension. They are divided into micro and macro complication. Macro complication are coronary artery disease, cardiovascular accident like stroke, and PDA peripheral artery disease. Uh, then we will ask about micro com uh, complication, which includes retinal disease and renal disease. These are the microvascular complication of uncontrolled hypertension. Then we will proceed into rest of the history, which includes drug history, particularly NSAID causes sodium and water retention leads to hypertension. Steroids do the same. Nasal drops like um, epidurine and pseudoepidurine are vasoactive and causes hypertension. In rest of the history, uh, we will ask about the family history particularly about the family member having hypertension and complications and we'll ask about hyperlipidemia in social history which is very important which includes uh, smoking alcohol cocaine uh, m uh, DMA abuse which is ecstasy will ask about whether the patient is having sedentary lifestyle or active style uh, doing exercise or no will ask about they will ask about the salt intake and caffeine intake which also leads to hypertension I hope you like the video and please uh, subscribe to the channel